Hello and welcome back to Keep Moving with Emily. I'm Emily, your adaptive fitness trainer helping you keep moving and I'm so glad you're joining me. Today we are doing a seated full body Tabata workout. If you've never done Tabata before, it's super fun format. Working for 20 seconds, resting for 10, eight rounds in each Tabata. Super fun, we're gonna get in a nice warm up um, that kind of follows that timing pattern so you kind of get used to it. Equipment that you need, a tennis ball, a TheraBand, some hand weights, and a chair. If at any point you wanna do the standing, you totally can. But if you're ready, let's keep moving. All right, friends, let's take a seat. We're gonna start with nice shoulder rolls, sitting up nice and tall, big breath in and out as that whistle blows. That's when we work. Work, round Good. one. We're gonna work for 20 seconds, rest for 10. We can do some forward shoulder rolls. Good, nice dynamic warm up here. Sitting up nice and tall, core is engaged. Nice. All right, in between, just a little bit of movement. We're gonna do arm openers. You can include lower body if you would like. We're gonna open up those arms nice and big, tapping the foot to the side. Here we go. I love this one, feels really good in the chest. Crossing the arms over and then opening them nice and big. Tapping the foot to the side if it works for you. Good. Keep it up. Rest, shake it out. Rest. This 10 second rest is usually for time to recover. We're gonna move into our next one, which is palms to the sky, palms to the ground. If you wanna add in a knee march, you totally can. You can even add in a heel tap. Good, let's bring those arms forward. Back to the side. A little bit of rotation in those shoulders, good. Perfect. Yep. And shake it out. Rest. We're moving into that spinal twist. Core is nice and strong. And twist here. Good. I know I'm getting started a little bit earlier. Then with the timer, we're gonna move gently through these movements. Yeah. Good, nice reaches. Just reaching across the body. Perfect. Making sure we're breathing. Perfect. All right. Rest. We are moving into reachovers. I like to place my forearm on my leg, reach it up and over, and then switch. Oh, it feels so good in those obliques. Work. And those shoulders. Good. Nice big reaches. You got it. We're going to move on into lower body. Doing some nice knee hugs. Warm up those hip flexors. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna grab underneath my knee, pull that knee in. Maybe I rotate my ankle, point and flex the toe. Good. And then switch. Good. Let's try to get at least two on each leg. Get nice and warm for our workout. This is what our Tabatas are gonna feel like this workout. Whistle, we work, whistle, we rest. Perfect. One more. Perfect. We're moving Rest. into hamstring scoop. So you're gonna sit up nice and tall, extend the heel out in front of you, and you're gonna scoop down, reach, big circle. Five on the right, five on the left. Remember, there's eight rounds, so we've got one more. Going to switch those legs. Yep. And our last move is a windmill, a little bit of cardio. A little bit of cognition and coordination. Good. Woo, nice. All right, feet are nice and wide. Arms are out nice and wide. We're touching opposite hand to opposite ankle, foot, knee. Stay up nice and tall each time. Perfect. Nice little spinal twist here. If it makes you dizzy, you don't have to twist too far forward. You got it. Couple more seconds here, and then we're moving on to hand-eye coordination. So you're gonna wanna grab your tennis ball after we're done here, and rest. Awesome. Rest. Go ahead and grab a swig of water, grab that tennis ball. We're moving on to hand-eye coordination. All right, friends, here we go. Hand-eye coordination is up on the screen. We are going through each of these exercises, working for 20 seconds, resting in between each one. We're starting off with a pancake, so we're just gonna sit up nice and tall. 
and kind of roll that ball in between your hands. But we're going to do a pancake tossing from right to left when that whistle blows. Are you ready? Here we go. Right to left. Round the goal. If you can add in a little bit of a twist. Nice. And if you can keep eyes up, not looking at the ball, that is the challenge. We're working our hand-eye coordination. This is what we call neuromotor exercises, connecting the body to the brain. Perfect. Nice rest. little rest. We're going to do single hand tosses. So we'll go right hand for a little bit, left hand for a little bit. If you want to go ahead and get started, go for it. This one is a little bit more challenging to not look at the ball, especially if we have like a non-dominant hand. Good. All right, I want you to switch hands. Maybe you notice one hand, it's a little bit more difficult or challenging. You don't have to throw it too high. If you drop the ball, that's just part of your workout to go get it. Nice. Keep it up. Perfect. In between, use this ball to kind of massage your hands or you can kind of squeeze the ball with your hands. Our next one is exchanging in front. So I want you to open up your arms nice and wide. Core is engaged. We're gonna exchange in front and open. Good. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Squeezing in the chest. Opening in those shoulders. Good. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. We're not going for speed here. You're going to notice your arms are going to get a lot more warmed up. Good. Perfect. Rest. Nice. Rest. All right. We're going up overhead this time. So arms are out nice and wide. We're going to rotate palms to the sky. And ball's going to come up over our head. Again, core is engaged. To reach up overhead down and down. Four. Now for seated. And you're in a safe position. You can try this with your eyes closed. Makes it a little bit more challenging. You're going to feel those arms get nice and warm. So use that 10 second rest to shake out your arms. Keep it up. Nice. Roll those shoulders, shake out the arms. We're going to go behind our back. I love this one. We're going to go like two or three one direction, two or three the other direction, just kind of alternate. We're going to open up the chest, exchange in front and behind. So I might do three or four this way and then switch and go the other direction. Woo! Really hang on nice and tight to that ball. Perfect. I'm just changing directions each time, working that hand-eye coordination, really opening up the chest. Shake it out. All right, we're going underneath our legs. Feet are at 90 degrees. I'm hinging forward, bringing my chest towards my thighs, exchanging underneath my legs, and then sitting up nice and tall. Round six. Good. Round number six. So I'm just exchanging up from the top and under. Good. Keep up the good work. This is still kind of part of our warm up. Good. And rest. All right. Get those legs rest. nice and white. wide. We're going for figure eights, under left, over left, under right, over right. The wider your legs, the more you're going to work those obliques. So really feel that core engage. Under, seven. over, under, over. Once you figure it out, see if you can speed it up. I'm just like leaning from right to left, under, over, under, over. Really working that coordination. Channel that inner basketball player, as I always say. Our last one is a little bit of a lateral bend, warming up our core some more. Bring those Rest. feet together. Inhale, arms up overhead. Whatever hand the ball is in, that elbow is pulling down to the side. We're reaching this other hand up to the sky Work. and Round switch. Eight. Reach. So pull that ball down towards your side and reach it back up and pull. Good. We're working lateral bends, working those obliques, warming up the shoulders, still hanging on nice and tight to that ball. Good. You should feel nice and warm and ready to go. For our workout, go on ahead and drop the ball, grab a swig of water, grab your weights, and we're moving on to strength. All right, friends, figure out which weights you want to use. I've got a lot of different sets of hand weights here. I'll probably use my eights um, just because these muscles are stronger. If at any point you want to do these standing, you totally can. You're going to stay up on the screen. We're starting with a right arm curl. We're going to be there for 20 seconds. Left arm curl, and then we're going to combine it. So get that right arm ready. Work. Round Good. One. We're curling up to that shoulder and back down. Glue that elbow to your side. You got it. Inhale down. Exhale up. Keep the weight in that right arm. We're going to right arm presses. So I'm having my weight at my shoulder, pressing the weight straight up to the sky, working those shoulders this time. You ready? Get ready. 
when that whistle blows, we work. Work. Good. Round two. So I'm just pressing and exhaling. Good. Then we're gonna work the left side and then we're gonna combine. Good. Keep it up. Feel those shoulders on fire. Woo! All right, get the weight in your left arm this time. We're going left arm curls. You can do hammer curl, you can do wide curl, open arm curl, whichever feels good to you. Again, if you want to do these standing, you totally can. I have my arm really glued to my side, so I'm really isolating this bicep muscle. Good, we're not going for speed. Nice, slow and controlled movement. Inhale down, exhale up. Nice, we're almost finished. Woo, quick little rest. Bring that weight up to your shoulder. We're doing left arm press. If you are ready, you can always have that right arm out to the side to help with your balance. Or you can do this standing. Here we go. Work. Round four. Round number four. Let's go. Halfway there. Remember, there's eight rounds. For the last four, we're going to kind of do some combination moves. Good. Keep it up. Nice. All right. Now we're going to go right arm curl press for 20 seconds. I'm going to do this round standing. You don't have to. You can stay seated. Ready? Curl Work. to that press. Round five. Standing is also an exercise. So anytime we can do any of these exercises standing, awesome. Just make sure you're in a safe position where you're not going to fall. Good. Nice. Switching sides. Rest. Left side this time. Curl to press. You can keep that arm out to the side if you'd like. Up to you. Ready? Work. Round six. Round number six. Two more rounds to go. For the next two rounds, I want you to have both the weights in your arms because we're going to kind of alternate and then combine. Good. We're really working biceps, shoulders, core. Good. All right. Grab that other weight. Rest. This time we're gonna go right arm curl, then left arm curl press. So just kind of alternating right, left, right, left. Are you ready? Curl press with that right. Work. Round. Seven. Curl press with the left. You got it. And then the last one we'll do them together. Nice. Try not to swing the weights. We're really controlling it. Right. Nice. Beautiful. The last right. round, we're going together. Right, left, together. Curl the press. Are you ready? Drop it to one way if it gets too heavy. Curl. Work. Press. Round eight. Round number eight. Good. You're almost finished. Then we're going to move into cardio. You got this. Woo, drop those weights. Rest. Grab a swig of water. Moving on to cardio. All right, friends, here we are. Cardio is up on the screen. We're starting with forward reach, wide and up, seated or standing. You decide what feels good to you. Really get that heart rate up, work some coordination on the whistle. Here we go. Forward, work. wide Round and up. One. Good. Now, once you figure out these moves, I want you to see if you can speed it up. Good. Keep it up, keep it up. Nice. Rest. Good. We got knee, knee, jack, jack. So you can either touch opposite hand to opposite knee, jack, jack. You can do that windmill or bicycle. You decide. Here we go. Go. Work. Round two. Knee, knee, jack, jack. You can touch the inside of that foot. Great option. Good. Perfect. Show you that other option. Reach it down, sit up nice and tall, two jacks. Good. All right, here we go. Standing option for that forward wide up. Are you ready? You can add in a march too, but it definitely challenges the coordination. Here we go. Forward, Work. wide, Round up. Three. Good. Again, if you want to march, 
Yep. And then once you figure out it, once you figure it out, beat it up. Let's go. Woo! Knee, knee, jack, jack. A good standing option. I'm going to go opposite knee, opposite knee, jack, jack. My legs are nice and wide, almost doing like an ice skater. Here we go. Shifting the weight from right to left. Good. That other option, balance, is required. Opposite hand, opposite knee, two jacks. Good. Keep it up. Yeah. Woo! Good, we're already halfway there. I'm gonna do the next ones seated, forward wide up. Here we go. Ready, ready? Four, four, five. Round five. Good, if you wanna add in a like forward wide up and down, you totally can. Just adds a little bit of spiciness, a little bit of a hinge. Good. Woo! The heart rate, get up there. That's the whole idea. Getting the heart rate up there, using this 10 seconds to recover, get ready for the next one. That knee, knee, jack, jack. Here we go. Knee. Round six. We got two more. You got this. One more forward wide up. One more knee, jack, jack. You got it. Should we do the last one? Seated or standing? I'm gonna try standing. You can do it with me standing. You can stay seated. Here we go, friends. We got 40 seconds of work left. Are you ready? Here we go. Forward, wide. Round seven. Sometimes if I say it out loud, it's super helpful. Good. I guess I'd have to do it in order then. <laughs> nice. Keep it up. Hang on to it. Woo! Knee, knee, jack, jack. I really like this option where my feet are nice and wide and I kind of do like a little bit of a ice skater. Ready? Here we go. Knee, work. knee, Round jack. eight. Good. So you can always tap the foot out to the side. Good. Hang on to it, we're almost finished. Working our core. We're working our cardio. You got it. And rest. Nice job. Grab some water. We're moving on to strength. All right, friends. Here we are. Strength round. Grab two weights. We're going to do two rounds of a hinge to a row. How it works is you're going to hinge forward, pull those elbows up nice and high, sit up nice and tall. We got two rounds of those. Then we got two rounds of just kickbacks and then four rounds of combining it. Here we go. So grab those weights, feet or shoulder width apart, sit up nice and tall. When the whistle blows, you're gonna bring that chest towards those thighs. Work. Pull the weights Round up to those hip one. pockets, lower the weights, sit up nice and tall. Hinge to a row. Good. I'm keeping my eyes forward, looking at my toes. Nice. And rest. rest. One more, just like that. As we hinge forward, back stays flat. Pull those elbows back, squeezing in the shoulder blades, working those back muscles. Here we go. Round number two. Work. Round two. Good. Really squeeze those shoulder blades as you pull those weights up. Good. You got it. This is an important foundational movement because with that kickback, we're gonna stay in that hinge position and just squeeze the weights straight back behind us. If they get too heavy, go on ahead and drop them. Are you ready? Here we go. Keeping those elbows up nice and high, extend weights back. Again, if weights get too heavy, still do the same movement, bending at the elbow, extending straight back behind. Good. Woo, and rest. rest. All right, now we're gonna combine it. Hinge, row, kick back, and sit up nice and tall. Let's go. Round four. Nice. If your weights get too heavy, 
You can always drop them. I'm gonna show you that standing option if you wanna do that. Hinge, row, kick back, squeeze. Yep. Woo! Let me have to lower these weights. No shame in that. Here we go. Three more, just like that. Work. Round five. Hinge, row, kick it back. We're working postural muscles. We're working our triceps. Back. A little bit of that lower body as we hinge forward. Nice. Rest. Two more, just like that, my friends. If you want to do that standing option, I'll do it with you. Sit nice and tall. And then I'm going to hinge. Row, kick it back. Let those eyes follow along with your body. Try not to strain your neck and look at the screen. Hinge, row, kick it back. Squeezing those boots before you stand. Nice. Rest. Last round. We got this. Here we go, here we go. Work. Round seven. Oh, I was just kidding. Round number seven. See, this is why we have it count for us. <laughs> because me and my brain can't keep track. Yep. Stay strong, friends. Rest. I'm here with you. Now this is our last one, I promise. For this one, at least. Let's go. Work. Round eight. Round number eight. Drop those weights if they get too heavy. No shame. We got a couple more rounds to go with like strength and cardio. So if you need to conserve your energy, conserve your strength, you can always lower the weights. Or drop them all together. Rest. Boom, we did it. We are moving on to cardio. Grab some water. All right, friends, cardio is up on the screen. We are gonna be alternating between high, low punches and fireball arms. So if you're ready, cardio time, let's go. High to low punches. Up high, then down low. If punching down low doesn't work, you can always go in the middle. Up, up, middle, middle. Nice. Good. We're reaching that arm to that opposite cor corner. Good. Quick little rest. rest. Fireball arms, I'm gonna do a couple to the side, squeezing the back of that arm, and then a couple of rope climbs. So have fun with it. Use this as a little bit of a dance if you want. So Work. you can kind of be here Round for a couple, two. and then rope climbs for a few. Good. This have fun with it. Again, if you wanna do any of these standing, go for it. Yeah, let's do this. All right, those high-low punches standing. Feet are nice and wide. Again, I'm punching, punching. Low, low. Let's go. If you can speed it up, awesome. You can be up nice and close. I love kickboxing. Great way to channel our energy. Any frustration? Stress. Rest. Nice. All right, fireball arms. I like to do these on standing because then I can add my hips a little bit, but if that doesn't work for you, do it seated. Ready? Good. Good. You can do eight and eight, or if you enjoy this part, stay there. Good. And rest. Halfway there. Let's go. High low punches. You can always add in lower body. Tapping that foot to the side. High to low punches. Good. If we can incorporate lower body, awesome. If not, we're here. 
Keep it up and rest. Fireball arms. Let's do this. Ready? Here we go. Maybe you just stay here for a little bit. Good, keep it up. Work hard, work hard, I know you're working. Keep it up, my friend. Woo. Good job. High low punches. I'm gonna do this last round standing. Are you ready? Here we go. Round number seven, which means the next one is our last one of cardio. You got it, we got one more round of strength. Then we've got core, and we are done. You got this, friend. You are strong. You are capable. Nice. All right, last bit of fireball arms. You're probably wondering, like, why is this called fireball arms? I have a fun choreographed piece to the, the song Fireball, and these are the arms that we do. So just taking a little bit of choreography from one of my other fun dance fitness choreography. Good. Let's go, let's go. Keep it up, you're almost finished. Work it and rest. Grab some water, grab your fair band. Let's move on to our last round of strength. All right, friends, we are gonna do some sit to stands for the first four rounds. So you're there sitting, standing, attempting no rest to so that 10 second rest, so you just keep moving. If a sit to stand doesn't work for you, I want you to do Right leg for the first round, left leg for the second round, right then left, okay? And then that banded chest and tricep, we'll grab our fair band. Ready? All right, Work. let's go. Round one. So if you are here doing these sit to stands with me, we're just gonna kind of keep doing sit to stands, trying to work through that rest, but if that is not possible, use that 10 seconds to rest, okay? We're pushing through those heels. I'm gonna move through this one, yes. keep going. For those of you who are doing that leg extension, you just did the right leg, now you're going for left leg when that whistle blows. Let's go. Work. Round two. Good, for those of you doing sit to stands, keep working. For those of you doing this leg extension, you're working that left leg. Let's go. When the whistle blows, you're gonna move on to that right leg, my seated friends. Those of us doing these, whoo, let's go. Try to work through the rest. If not, use this 10 seconds to rest and recover. Listen to your body. Good. It takes some time to get this endurance to be able to do sit to stands for two minutes straight. But for those of you seated, we're here. This right leg extension. Come on. Keep it up. Nice. Nice little rest here. Last 20 seconds, left leg or sit to stands, and then we're gonna grab that there band. Good. Last 20 seconds. Good. Keep it up. Nice. Or we're that left leg. Hang on to it. Keep working, keep working. I'm gonna pause our music once we get to that fourth round. All right, pause the music for just a second. Grab your TheraBand. I'm gonna kind of show you how this move is gonna work. It's a little complicated, but you'll figure it out. So we're gonna start here, elbows bent, band is at our chest. I'm gonna extend out with the right, then out with the left, push forward, and then open and squeeze. Pull, extend, extend. So each time we extend here, I'm working my tricep, and then we're gonna push it forward, open, close, pull, extend, extend, okay? Four rounds there. Let's go, we got four rounds just like that. You ready? Round five. All right, so extend, extend, push forward, open, keeping the arms nice and straight. Pull it towards you, extend, extend, push, and open. So we're working our chest, our triceps. You got it. Seated option. 
closer your hands are, the more intense it's gonna be. Starting with that weight at your chest. Extend right, bring it back. Left. Push forward, open. Good. If you need to reset your hands each time, that's totally fine. Good. Sometimes, maybe this one is a little easier, but then this is too hard, you can always bring the hands out wider. Woo! Oh, I feel that in my shoulders, in my chest, in those triceps. Here we go, two more just like that. Core strong, let's go. Extend, extend, push away, and open. Do you feel the burn? Hang on to it, friends. I'm here with you. Good. We got to keep things, you know, spicy, complicated. We're working our brain along with our body. So I'm here with you. Last round. Ready? Starting at our chest. Extend. Push away. Open. Pull it towards you. Extend. Squeeze in the back of that arm. Let's go. We're getting those arms nice and strong. Biceps, triceps, shoulders, back. Ooh, all the things. And rest. So strong, my friends. We are finishing with core, so grab one weight and take a seat. All right, we've got core. We got four rounds, which means we're doing each of these twice through. So you're just gonna grab one weight. We're going for a weighted sit up at first. Weight's gonna be at our chest. I'm sitting on the edge of my chair. And I'm just sitting back. Inhale as I come back, exhale as I come forward. Good. Exhale, elbows to knees, inhale back. Good. Use that breath. Perfect. Rest. All right, this next one is a wood chop press. So I'm going to press it up to the sky, bring that weight to one hip, press it up to the sky, bring the weight to the other hip. A little bit of obliques. So good. Here we go. Reach that weight up overhead and little twist. Good. Use that breath. Exhale as we reach. Good. Woo! Drop yes. that weight. New favorite, starfish. Reach down towards those ankles. Inhale, open big, and then exhale, come back. Here we go. Round three. Round number three. This is a really great one because it's not only working our core, working a little bit of cardio, you can always open up the legs too. That's gonna add an extra challenge, working those lower abs. Exhale, crunching forward, bring that chest towards those thighs. Rest. All right, next one, sit up with a punch. So we're gonna do that similar move, that sit up, then we're gonna punch, punch, sit up, punch, punch. Here we go. Work. Round four. And then we're gonna do all four of these one more time and we're gonna call it a day and you will have gotten in a full body Tabata workout. Yes. You can check that box of 30 yes. minutes of exercise today. Grab that weight, we're back to those weighted sit-ups. Weights at our chest, sitting on the edge of your chair. Inhale Work. back, exhale Round forward. Five. Elbows to knees. You got it. Nice. Friends, you're working hard, I know it. I'm here with you. Good. All right, wood chop presses. Again, reaching up to the sky, twisting. Here we go. Weights at our chest. Starting positions here. Press it up and nice little twist. Another good option is just like twisting straight across the body if this big twist doesn't feel good to you. You can always just stay here. Almost like you're passing food. Good. Nice, drop that weight. Moving on to our starfish. 
I like to add in the legs. It just like adds like an extra component, and then it makes me want to say I'm a star. So, like this. Nice star. Round seven. Keep it up. You got this, friends. Crunches. You bring that chest towards the thighs. We're almost finished. We got one more set of 20 seconds of work. You can do this. 20 seconds. Sit up. Punch, punch. You got any more aggression? How are you feeling? Use this exercise to channel it right here, right now. We got this. We are strong. We are capable. We can do this. We are warriors. Almost done, and then we are stretching it out and calling it a day. You did it. So strong. High fives to the screen. All right, grab a swig of water. We're going to put on some calm music, and we're going to call it a day. Oh, friends, we did it. It is time to cool it down and stretch it out. So just take a big breath in up overhead. Lengthen in the spine as you lift. And exhale. Bring those arms down, couple shoulder rolls. As we stretch, I really want you to kind of just check in with your body, see how you're feeling. Are we feeling maybe more energized? Maybe our mood's improved. Maybe our muscles are feeling a little bit looser. Maybe we are experiencing some spasticity or tightness. And maybe it's a little bit better now. Good. All right, one more big inhale up. Exhale, open up those arms, maybe grab behind your chair. A couple big deep breaths here. Good. As we breathe in and round in the back, reach arms forward. Nice stretch in those shoulder blades after all those rows. You did so good today. Not an easy workout. I'm here with you, and I felt it. Good. Open up arms nice and big. Pull fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, bring one arm across the chest. Make sure you hydrate. Ooh. Also, please comment, share this with a friend. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can access more fun workouts just like this. Open up those arms nice and big. Pull fingertips up. Exhale over. Good. My goal is to help all levels of ability get moving and know that no matter what your limitation, you really can keep moving. And that is what I hope you are feeling today. All right, let's take a big breath in, reaching one arm up to the sky. So I got my left arm in the sky. I'm reaching it over to the side. Nice little half moon stretch here. Inhale that arm up and exhale that arm down, other side. Nice stretch in those obliques. I am always curious what people's favorite like format is. Is it Tabata? Is it like AMRAP style? So feel free to share in the comments below. With nice little spinal twist here. So just twist those shoulders one direction. Big breath in. Exhale, twist the other way. Ah, oh, feels good. Take a big breath in and come back to center. Good. All right, my feet are kind of wide. I'm going to do a nice forward fold. So inhale, arms up into that extended mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Nice long stretch. Let the head hang heavy. Maybe we walk our hands to the right. And then to the left, maybe walk those fingertips back as far as you can. I also like to put my elbows inside my knees and kind of make a fist here and then push those knees in as I push my elbows out, getting a nice stretch in that inner thigh. Perfect. Use this time as an opportunity to stretch what you need or follow along with me. All right, release, place hands on top of those thighs, push through the palms, head comes up last. Nice, all right. Grab underneath one knee, pull that knee up towards your chest, 
ankle rotation. Exhale, lengthen long and hinge forward. Good. Pull that knee up, placing the ankle on top of our thigh. Nice little glute stretch, inner thigh stretch, hip stretch. Friends, I'm so glad you joined me. Feel free to take a sweaty selfie. Send it my way. Find me on, you know, Instagram. Tag me in it. Other side. Pull that knee up. Rotate in the ankle. Point flex the toe. Exhale, lengthen long and reach. So I guess technically you worked for 32 minutes and then we've stretched for like four. So really this is almost a 40 minute workout. So go you. If, if we are going to celebrate any victory, that is our victory for today. We got in a good workout. Hey, hey. Perfect. And place that foot onto the floor. One more big breath in. And exhale it out. Super proud of you, friends. I hope to see you back in another Keep Moving with Emily. Until then, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye.